Hello and welcome back. Here we are moving into section three, how to fill the void. And I am honored to have walked you through the lessons so far. So what we're doing here in section three is moving into lesson one of sharing your misery with company. And this is a very important step. The uh, moving into having daily habits that are healthy or healthier than what you're already doing. I mean, some people actually will drink only seven days a week and that it may not be right for you. And, uh, and probably you shouldn't be drinking seven days a week, but um, you know, if you allow yourself a little time to grieve and uh, have some bad habits and then let's move towards good habits. So, there's that void that might be existing inside of you because your husband is no longer with you. And that void could be one of true sorrow because it was such a great marriage, but it could also be one that where you're, you know, you had an abusive relationship or just something was negative about it. And there's that void because that dance is no longer there. And acknowledging your emotions is very important. And if you bottle them up, it will become a debilitating experience for you. And facing your emotions head on and sharing them with others and getting a sympathetic witness, if you don't do that, you're going to probably manifest body aches and pains. I mean, the body will t take on those emotions. And expressing your feelings and emotions with others is very cathartic. It's very healing. You can actually change those feelings, those experiences when you share them with others. And it helps to actually to reframe the trauma that you might be feeling, whether that's kind of a good, I'm glad the husband is gone or a bad one. In fact, there's a, a famous doctor that you could go and look him up on the internet if you are curious, but Dr. Peter Levine is a trauma researcher and he says, quote, trauma is not what happens to us, but what we hold inside of us in absence of an empathetic witness. We don't want to have our body hurting. In fact, I realized through my research for this that I was having a, a shoulder pain in my left shoulder that has been with me for about two years. And I was actually going to chiropractors and doctors and acupuncturists and, and trying all kinds of rehab and it was still hurting. So as I noticed that uh, it might have been an emotion that I have not expressed, I really sat down and thought about what could it be? And I think I found out what it was. And I went to a person I think I hurt. And I expressed to them my sorrow, my grief, my, my guilt. And fortunately for me, they said it really wasn't a big deal. And that they forgave me and that we were all good. And I can tell you that my shoulder really does feel a whole lot better. So it is worth expressing yourself, even though it might be a little bit scary. And in fact, we might even commit to a lesser future, not a future that you actually love, if you don't go through this particular process in this stage. Now, filling that void of the person who is now gone, you know, it might be that you're feeling happy that they're gone. And again, it might have been a traumatic thing or that, that the, your husband was sick for a long period of time and they are no longer feeling that pain anymore. And express to your uh, person you trust, your sympathetic witness that, and your empathetic witness that you actually do feel happy about it and that maybe you feel guilty about that happiness. Express whatever it is real for you. Uh, it's okay to be happy that someone is no longer in pain or no, not around anymore to hurt you. Express that and that again will move us towards a, a healthier new future. Also, we need to be very careful. If you're the type of person who will tell your story over and over again to get attention, you know, you're getting that extra hug because you're feeling, you know, sad and, and that continues on for a long period of time. You should even ask the people that you're telling your story to, you say, say to them, am I actually getting healthier? Am I moving through this emotion? Am I getting better? and allow them to be honest with you. You could be stuck in this story. You want to be able to express it, move through it, reframe it, and even maybe even tell a new story about it, moving powerfully into a future that you love. Start telling your story about you being happy and healthy and growing and learning and doing new things. Whatever works for you to move past this probably most difficult part. 
and get encouragement from the people who are listening <laughs> to you. And this is the time to start building on your healthy habits and connections with people who will support you for the long run. And I look forward to our next session.